pra Oslo, pra sair no Oslo do um bloco asfo da terra do bacalhau. Oi, tudo bem? I'm Professor Jason. Welcome back to Jumpstart Brazilian Portuguese. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you some travel survival phrases. We've got plenty to cover, so let's get started. All right, so quickly just to present a basic overview before we dive in. In today's lesson, covering what I call travel survival expressions, I'm going to divide these into three categories. First of all, greetings and courtesy phrases, many of which I suspect you will already know. Secondly, asking for help and directions. So let's say that you're out and about, you don't know exactly how to get somewhere, you need a little bit of help moving around. And then finally, some questions and phrases that deal with overcoming the language barrier. All right, so here are those greetings and courtesy phrases. Again, I suspect you'll know most of these already, but let's, let's go over them anyways. Hello is olá or oi. How are you? Tudo bem? Tudo bem com você? I'm fine, and you? Tudo. E você? Goodbye. Tchau. See you soon. Até mais, or até logo. See you later. Te vejo mais tarde. There's different variations on that idea of até logo, até mais, tchau, te vejo mais tarde. All great options. Uh, good morning. Bom dia. Again, this is what we say to people before about lunchtime, noon. Bom dia. Afternoon. Right after the clock strikes noon, people will transition into saying good afternoon, boa tarde, boa tarde. And then good evening and good night, there's not really a distinction. It's boa noite, boa noite. Of course, the courtesy phrase is please, por favor, por favor, faz favor. Uh, thank you, obrigado, or obrigada if you're a woman, obrigado if you're a man, obrigada if you're a woman. Oh, I'm sorry, sinto muito. That's when you would be expressing sympathy, right, towards someone. I'm sorry. Sinto muito. So if somebody says, I don't feel well today. Ah, sinto muito. I'm sorry about that. Uh, a different kind of sorry, right, is when you, um, maybe you bump into somebody in the supermarket or on the metro. You bump into them and you would say, ah, disculpe, disculpe, right? If you want to get past somebody in a crowded area, you might say, Com licença, com licença. Never hurts to add on a por favor, right? Uh, where's the restroom? Onde fica o banheiro? Onde fica o banheiro? Or may I use your restroom? Posso usar o banheiro? Very important question to learn. What is your Wi-Fi password? Qual é a senha da internet aqui? Qual é a senha da internet? Or Qual é a senha do Wi-Fi? All right, moving on with some more survival expressions and then transitioning into some directional or location questions and phrases. So a generic way to ask for help or to say that you need help is Preciso de ajuda. Eu preciso de ajuda. Polite question, could you help me please? Você poderia me ajudar? Remember that form poderia is a polite way. It means could you please? Você poderia me ajudar? You could walk up to someone and say, excuse me, I have a question. Desculpe, eu tenho uma pergunta. Tenho uma pergunta. Or can I ask you a question? Posso te fazer uma pergunta? Desculpe, preciso de ajuda. Posso te fazer uma pergunta? You can see how you could combine these. So you might ask, how do I get somewhere? Or what's the closest, what's the nearest, this or that? How do I get somewhere? You can use the phrase, como chego? So for example, it might be the cathedral. A catedral, or the art museum, Museu de Arte. Como chego à catedral? Como chego ao Museu de Arte? Como chego à estação de metrô mais próxima? Talk about mais próximo, nearest, or mais próxima, the closest, right, in these next series of questions. So, asking for locations of specific things around town, you can use a phrase like, onde tem uma... Onde tem um, if you think there might be multiple locations, like a pharmacy. Onde tem uma farmácia? Onde tem uma farmácia? But if it's more specific, and there might just be one location, or you're interested in a specific location, use the phrase, onde fica o, or onde fica a. For example, if I wanted to ask, where's the closest hospital? Onde fica o hospital mais próximo? Or clinic, a clinica. Onde fica a clinica mais próxima? 
Where's the closest bank? Onde fica o banco mais próximo? Or ATM. Onde fica o caixa eletrônico mais próximo? Just a cultural note, in Brazil, as in the US, I guess, most banks and they have ATMs, so you can simply ask, onde fica o banco mais próximo? But remember, ATM is o caixa eletrônico. Where can I exchange currency? A currency exchange is casa de câmbio. Então, onde tem uma casa de câmbio? Onde tem uma casa de câmbio? Where's the closest grocery store? Supermercado. Onde fica o supermercado mais próximo? Where's the post office? Onde fica o correio? Onde fica o correio? Where's the nearest or closest bus stop? Remember, ponto de ônibus. Onde fica o ponto de ônibus mais próximo? The bus station, terminal de, de ônibus. Onde é o terminal de ônibus? Onde é o terminal de ônibus? Or the train station, a estação de trem. Onde é ou onde fica a estação de trem? Now, when you're out and about around town, looking at tourist attractions, monuments, whatever, if you want someone to help you with a photo, you could say, Você pode tirar uma foto para mim ou para nós, for us? Or even more politely, Você poderia tirar uma foto para, para mim ou para nós? Now, transitioning into a few um, kind of language barrier, navigating the language barrier types of phrases and questions. If you want to say, oh, I don't speak Portuguese very well. Não falo português muito bem. Do you speak English? Você fala inglês? If you want to say, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. You might be getting in over your head in a conversation in Portuguese. Oops, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Desculpe, não entendi ou não entendo. Okay, and just to finish up this lesson, a few more language barrier related questions and phrases. If somebody's speaking Portuguese really fast and you want them to slow down, the key words are mais devagar. Você pode falar um pouco mais devagar, por favor? Or just simply, oh, mais devagar, por favor. If you need someone to repeat something, pode repetir, por favor. Você pode repetir, por favor? If you want to know how an English word is said in Portuguese, let's say the English word is box, you would say, como se diz box in Portuguese? And the person would say, ah, caixa, se diz caixa. Como se diz box in Portuguese, or whatever the English word is, como se diz? If you need some, somebody to write something down, it might be an address, it might be a location, it might be their name. The operative verb is escrever. Você pode escrever para mim? Pode escrever isso para mim, por favor? Or how is that written? How is that spelled? Como se escreve? And then if all else fails, <laughs> you can fall back on, does anyone here speak English? Alguém aqui fala inglês? Alguém aqui fala inglês? Hopefully, you won't need to ask that because you've learned so much in this series. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Hope you found it to be informative and useful. If so, would you please like, comment, and share with others? Don't forget to add and follow me on social media for updates, and be sure to come back to the Professor Jason channel again soon. See you next time. Até breve. Ciao. Eu vou